welcome to our print studio. You can do printing using all sorts of different materials and techniques. In our studio, we use lino, card, wood, tinfoil, and even sunlight to make our prints. You can make prints at home too, using materials that are easily available in supermarkets. Today, we're going to look at printing using polystyrene tiles. So today we're going to do a print that would be easy for you to do at home or at school. And we're going to use polystyrene for this print. Before we can start making a print, we need a design. And our theme is a fiery sun. So to get some inspiration, I looked at the work of some known artists. We've got an idea from Van Gogh, from Miro, from Picasso, and this one here is from a factory based in Lowestoft, which was making radios in the 1920s and 30s. So that's where I started, and then I moved on just to look at some other images that might give me some ideas for a fiery sun. And here they are. But I wanted to include Lowestoft in the design, the most easterly point of Britain. So my final design took the ideas of the fiery sun that I found, and then I've drawn in the sea because that's what I think of when I think of lower stuff. So we're going to use our polystyrene tile in two different ways today. The first kind of print we're going to make is one using colour pens, and you can see the fiery sun and the sea of lower stuff in here in bright colours. And the second way we're going to do is a more traditional way using print, uh, using paint and a roller. Now, if I just show you the tile that I made earlier to make those prints, and show you the print, you'll notice that they are the reverse of each other. And you can see this, I put it on top. You imagine that the ink was all over the tile, the paper goes on top, and when I lift it up, hopefully you can see that it is the reverse. And that is very important if you're going to include any text into your tile, because you don't want your writing to be backwards. So, the first thing I need to do is to get my tile, my design, onto a piece of paper exactly the same size as my polystyrene. And that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to put my glasses on for this. So here we are, fiery sun with the sea. Now I need to get this design onto the polystyrene. But of course I need to remember that I have to reverse it on the polystyrene so that my finished print is the right way round. And in order to do that, I need some tracing paper and some tape so the tracing paper doesn't move as I, tape, as I trace it. got our tracing. Just untape it. So that makes it nice and easy then to put it onto our polystyrene. Remembering we want it to go on the opposite way. And again it will help me if I tape it down so that the polystyrene doesn't move as I'm tracing it onto that. For the first part of tracing, I'm just using a pencil, and that's because the pencil will go through the tracing paper and leave a small indent into the polystyrene that I can use as a guide next time. Okay, so now we've got our Hopefully our design transferred onto our polystyrene 
but you might be able to see that it's very, very faint at the moment. So we need to go over one more time to make our tile really show up when we're going to colour it, but also more importantly, it needs to have these deeper dents so that the paint can't go in there when we're using the roller. So using a ballpoint pen, one more time all the way around. So here we are. Here is our tile and we've gone over everything with ballpoint pen. And if you notice, I've coloured in the, the crests of the waves because wherever we press in the tile, the paint won't be able to go. So it, although it looks like I coloured it in blue at the moment, it won't be blue in the final print. So now that tile is ready to be made into a beautiful, colourful print. So our tile is now ready to make the first of our prints. And this one is going to be the felt tip colourful print. So for this, you will need some water washable felt tip pens. And that is very important, they're water washable. We also need some printing paper. Now, cartridge paper works best. A4 paper that you'd use in the photocopier or your printer at home is a little bit thin for this because you will need to wet it. So you'll need a sponge and some water. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color in the design. So now we have our beautiful coloured in tile. And there's a couple of things just to be careful of. The first thing, it's very easy to take the ink up with your hand as you're colouring in. So if that happens and you've, you've taken some ink up, just recolour in that bit, that's fine. And the other thing is the only white parts that we want on the design are the bits that you've pushed in with your pen. So it's a good idea to give it a nice bold background as well. Right, so we are ready for printing. So. In order to take the ink off the tile and onto your paper, we need to dampen the paper a bit. So to do that, we need a household sponge and some water. And we are going to make sure that we put a nice even coat of water over the whole piece of paper. We don't want it too wet, we don't want any puddles, but we do want it nice and damp all over. So it should be quite nice and glossy if you hold it up to the light. I might just give it a tiny little bit more just to make sure. Now, to make our print, we need to put our damp side of paper on the top of our tile. We need to make sure that we get all of the tile underneath the paper. So before we lower it, we're just going to make sure oops, that we've got the whole tile in. And then we can use the palm of our hand, especially the heel part here, to be pushing the paper onto the tile. I think I might have got the paper a little bit wet. We shall see. I'm going to, without taking the whole paper off, I'm just going to be having the odd little look just to see if the ink is coming off. All right. Let's look at the bottom. Keep having a sneaky little peek. It's a little bit wet, but I think it's coming off quite well. It's looking quite good there, and it's looking quite good there. So I think I'm going to reveal the print. I can do that 
I just gently lifting so that I can always put it back if I think part of it hasn't printed very well. But that's looking pretty good. A beautiful print from your tile. And of course, you can use the tile over and over again and make as many prints as you like. This time we're going to make a more traditional type of print using paint and a roller. So for this, you need some ready mix poster paint. This is a good one. And this is another one. And these are available just in supermarkets. We need those. And we need a roller and a paint tray. Sponge rollers are best. And this one was for just in DNM stores. So they're freely available on the high street. And we need some printing paper too. I'm going to reuse the same tile. You can see it's still got the pattern of the felt tip pen, but it's been cleaned off and left to dry for a little bit. Right. I'm going to use black for this. A bright, bold colour works better than a light colour. So we need to put quite a lot of paint into our paint tray, like that. And then we're going to get a good coating of it all over the sponge roller. Now we don't want to get too much so that it goes a bit claggy, but we want to get a really good coat over. And just here, I've got a glass plate, a chopping board, which I'm just going to use to make sure I get a nice even coat of paint on the roller. And when I think I'm beginning to get a good coat, I can start rolling it on. Now, one thing I noticed was that the more times you ink up your plate, you get paint on it, the easier it becomes. And the first time, it tends to look a bit patchy, so you have to put ever such a lot of paint on your roller. And you just keep on going until you've covered the whole polystyrene plate in a good, even coating of paint. Make sure you go right into the edges and the corners. So covering your table is a good idea for this one. I'm going to do one more going over. Going into all the corners. And then trying to make sure that you haven't left any lines of paint. So just a gentle, a gentle roll over at the end. Right. I think it might be ready to print with. So just like before, we're using cartridge paper for printing. And we're going to make sure again that we cover the whole tile. We don't want to leave any bits left out. So and to avoid the painty bits of newspaper, I can. So, over we go. And again, using the heel part of our hand, giving it a good rub over. Make sure we go into all the edges and the corners so that the paint come off. We didn't need to wet the paper this time. So it's a little bit easier to handle. Right, I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to have a little peep and see. And I think that's looking pretty good. I might just give it one more rub. Have a look here. I think that's looking pretty good. So I can reveal the print. And there we have it. A lovely, bold print. And you'll notice that each time you ink up, it's easier and easier to ink up your plate. So it's worth doing three or four before you finish. Right, so here we are. Just to recap, here's the one that we did with colouring pens. Lots of lovely colours on the polystyrene. Give us a, a multicoloured plate. And here's the one that you saw me doing a little bit earlier with the black. But I've done some more using fiery colours for the sun. So here's yellow one, an orange, and then I mixed a little bit of a deeper colour orange to make a fiery colour, and then last of all I did a red one. 
And now that I've got lots of different colours, I could have fun making a pattern. And that is polystyrene printing.